Hi everybody, in this video we're going to learn how to make a three color background gradient on P5JS. So in this example here, I have a dark blue color at the top, kind of an orangey color in the middle, and a brownish color at the bottom. And I've blended them in a way so it looks like the, the sun is rising or falling across the horizon. And I can adjust it on the slider. I can adjust where that horizon is. If I want the ground to be lower, I could put it down there. Or if I want the ground to be higher, I could put it up there. So let's look at the code and see how it works. Okay, so I have no global variables. And in the setup function, I just created my canvas and I created my slider. So horizon slider is equal to create slider. And create slider accepts four arguments. The minimum value, so my y can't go lower than 60. The maximum value, my y can't get greater than 350. The start value, so my y starts at 150. That's where the horizon starts at. And two is how much you can change by when you move the slider the least amount. So the minimum amount you can change y is two pixels at a time. And I'm placing that slider using the position at x equals 10 and y equals 10. So that's a quick way to create a slider. Now in the draw function, that's where the color mixing happens. I'm just getting the slider value and I'm putting it into the horizon so I know where the horizon should be drawn. And I'm naming my three colors. So the top color will be dark blue, the middle color will be orange, and the bottom color will be brown. You can change these colors to whatever you want. Now I'm going to mix my colors. So there'll be two loops that mix the colors. On the first loop, it will mix the top color with the middle color. So here from blue till orange. And then the second loop will mix orange to brown. That's why there's a horizon here, because the, the orange color is being mixed by different colors at this horizon. Let's look at the loops. They're both the same, pretty much. So mix top color and middle color to horizon. So I'm just making a four loop starting at zero, which is going to be the top of the screen. And it's going to be less than horizon. So wherever the slider is set for the horizon, that's where the first loop will end. And then I'm just creating a variable called Y map. And that's going to be the map value for the Y scale to a number between zero and one. Mapping just rescales scales a range of numbers. I'm taking the numbers from 0 to the horizon. So let's say so from 0 to 150, and I'm rescaling it to fit between 0 and 1. And then I'm taking that number from between 0 and 1, and that's how I'm mixing the colors in that ratio. So at the top here, at y equals 0, it's 100% blue. So the, the value for blue would be 1, and the value for orange would be 0. And then as I go down, the number for blue is going down. So here would be like 0.9 blue and 0.1 orange. And then as I get to the middle here, it would be 0.5 blue and 0.5 orange. It'd be half and half. And as I get past that point, there'd be less blue than orange. And down here at the horizon, it would be zero blue and one orange. So that's what this loop is doing. And then it's just taking that color, putting it on the stroke, or putting it on the brush, and then drawing that uh, line across the canvas of that color. And then the second loop is doing the same thing. The second loop, except is starting at the horizon and ending at the bottom of the screen, and it's going to mix the second and third color. So the top line here will be, the value for orange will be one, it'd be all orange, and the value of brown would be zero. And then as I go down here, maybe it's gonna be like 0.9 orange and 0.1 brown. And then as I get like halfway, it'll be 0.5 orange and 0.5 brown. And then as I get down here, it will be all brown. It'd be like zero orange and one brown. And then for the slider, I'm just making the, the text below it black. The text size is 20. And I'm just putting this string and the variable from the slider displayed below it at x equals 10 and y equals 50. That's how you can create a three color gradient background. 